at almost morning. Today, I'm announcing that the United States will be sending 31 Abram tanks to Ukraine, the equivalent of one Ukrainian battalion. Secretary Austin has recommended this step because it will enhance the Ukraine's capacity to defend its territory and achieve its strategic objectives. The Abrams tanks are the most capable tanks in the world. <clears throat> They're also extremely complex to operate and maintain. So we're also giving Ukraine the parts and equipment necessary to effectively sustain these tanks on the battlefield. And we begin, we'll begin to train the Ukrainian troops on these issues of sustainment, logistic, and maintenance as soon as possible. We're also closely coordinated this announcement with our allies. I'm grateful to Chancellor Schultz for providing German Leopard 2 tanks and will lead an effort to organize a European contribution of two tank battalions for Ukraine. I want to thank the Chancellor for his leadership and his steadfast commitment to our collective efforts to support Ukraine. Germany has really stepped up. The Chancellor has been a strong, strong voice for unity, a close friend, and for the level of effort we're going to continue. Putin expected Europe and the United States to weaken our resolve. He expected our support for Ukraine to crumble with time. He was wrong. He was wrong. And he was wrong from the beginning, and he continues to be wrong. We are united. America is united, and so is the world. And we approach the one-year mark, as we do, of the Russian full-scale invasion of Ukraine. We remain united and determined, as ever, in our conviction and our cause. These tanks are further evidence of our enduring, unflagging commitment to Ukraine and our confidence in the skill of the Ukrainian forces.